All right, y'all, it's your boy Afro Yanka here, here to say thank God for seafood. God damn it, shit, man. Come on, son. Later this year, the developers of 2017's Absolver will be dropping their new game, Seafood. Now, I apologize for coming in hot, but like, yo, are y'all not seeing this? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, why is this nigga like this? Like, yo, yo like, peep the breath. Peep the breath at the end. All right? It's something about the breath that just makes you feel it. Peep. It. And look at him. Look at him. <sighs> Who's next? The point is, this man is nasty. And I've seen this breath before. And if you haven't, you're in luck. Because you're about to. Did y'all peep it? You're welcome. Now, if you haven't been able to tell from the first few seconds of this video, I'm excited. Now, look at y'all. Why are you excited? Looking ass. Nah, I'm just playing. In all honesty, there's a few reasons why I'm excited for Sifu, but let's just start with the first one, shall we? The first reason I'm excited for Sifu is because it's a martial arts-based game that seems like it'll have a lot of technicality when it comes to its combat system. Maybe not as technical as Tekken, but probably along the lines of Sekiro, Sleeping Dogs, and the newer Assassin's Creed's, and Ghost of Tsushima with its parry system. Possibly Tekken S because of the way you may have to perform your combos. Maybe it'll resemble the Born Conspiracy where you have to mix up square and triangle to perform different combos. It's also possible that they'll add X and Circle in there, like in Tekken with every button being a limb, but we all have to see. There really hasn't been much word on the combat system. What we do know is that it took inspiration from Dark Souls because they told us that in an article. And if that doesn't make you shake like, <laughs> well, <laughs> then it's possible you haven't played a Souls game. Because when I think of Souls games, I just think of a whole lot of frustration and a whole lot of dying, to be honest. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. The story is a bit cliche, but it's one we can all relate to. And cliche isn't always bad. It's a revenge story in which the main character is after five assassins who eliminated his family. And apparently each assassin has their own element. Earth, water, wind, fire, probably something else. In a nutshell, it takes place eight years after the initial incident, but you have one day and one pennant that brings you back to life every time you die to be all of the assassins and their flunkies. Now real quick, I don't know if the developers for Deathloop, Returnal, and Sifu just sat down one day and said, it's time. And I don't know if it's going to become a new style of game for a lot of video game developing companies. But it is just interesting, as a side note, that they're all coming out with games that have that kind of element in it at the same time. Now the second reason I'm excited is because fighting in martial arts games and movies have been some of your boy's favorite things since he was a young Yonko. Personally, to me, as much as I love guns and explosions and action movies and cars and whatever, they just don't quite do it for me the way martial arts and fighting games and movies do. I mean, think about it. Is it really as exciting to watch a dude with a gun take out five people instead of watching a dude take out five people with his hands and feet alone? If your answer to that question is yes, then congratulations, you're American. <laughs> Every console generation, we get a couple of games on the same sort of wave as seafood. Just to name a few, starting from the days of PS2 and the original Xbox, Rise to Honor, For Honor, The Born Conspiracy, Enter the Matrix and Path of Neo, Sleeping Dogs, Yakuza, Yakuza Cop, Yakuza Samurai, Sekiro, Ghost of Tsushima, and of course, Slow Clap's own Absolver. Technically, you could or could not throw Assassin's Creed in there, but either one would make sense. And you could argue Spider-Man and Batman, but the difference between Spider-Man, Batman, Assassin's Creed, and the other games I named is, the other ones are straight up fights. You really don't have powers or, and or gadgets to help you in those fights. Now I know y'all, some of y'all are like, but Batman and Assassin's Creed are straight up fights. You're not wrong, but they still have gadgets like smoke bombs and throwing knives and they have special abilities abilities and they can run away if they have to and in spider-man you can web zip to people and he's got gadgets not to mention the strength to knock somebody 10 feet in the air and go meet them there and beat that ass and i hear the rest of y'all y'all like but what about ghost of tsushima you have smoke pellets and arrows and kunai and darts and you have all that ish to what i say that's also true, but you also have duels, which is a no-fly zone for all of that. Not to mention a more of a complex parry system where you got four different stances to fight four different enemies in mixed company. But with that being said, there's definitely technicality to the combat systems in Spider-Man, Batman, and Assassin's Creed. Definitely the newer ones, and especially if you play them on higher difficulties. Because if you think you're just gonna come in and button mash, you're gonna catch a whole lot of L's, no bug. And of course, in the other games I named, there are takedowns and special moves, and every single one of them has a focus meter of some kind to give you an edge, but mm, 
It's not quite the same as having gadgets and special abilities. Now by this point you probably realize that I didn't mention actual straight up fighting games like Tekken and Soul Calibur and Mortal Kombat. And the reason why is because just imagine them being on that list just in Invisible Ink. They're in their own kind of realm. Of course they're based on martial arts but they also don't really have much of a story most of the time. It's a tournament of some kind or people are being forced to fight each other one on one for one reason or another. It's a little bit different. Whereas the other games it's like action adventure game but the combat system is melee instead of shooting and blowing stuff up and grenades and the point is i'd really like to see a lot more games like this maybe have some more developers make more games like this because they really are fire that's why i'm excited for black myth wukong as well but that's a discussion for another day all that is to say i'm very excited for sifu and i appreciate you slow clap for giving me a game i can look forward to in 2021 i'm sure there will be others but this one's definitely at the top of my list i hope we can get a release date soon and I hope we can get a little bit more gameplay other than the short clips on Twitter because they just feel like teasers and I just want to see more of the combat, which I know is going to be fire. But if y'all like this video, you know, consider subscribing and definitely hit that like button. I'm going to have my next video out on Saturday. It'll be about seafood, probably what I want to see from it on top of what they've already told us we would get from it. So I'll tell you what I like and what I kind of want to see. Other than that, you feel me? That's really it. I'm out. Peace.